Hello, so I'm back here cooking. Um, today I want to make a cannoli cheesecake. Um, it's no bake, it's sugar free, low carb. Um, I have food sensitivities, so you can't have gluten or sugar or things like that. Uh, so the keto diet tends to be, or food from keto works better for me. So. Today's recipe will consist of um, sugar-free stuff, gluten-free, that kind of stuff. So, first things first, we're going to make the crust. So we need one and a half cups of almond flour. So I have... almond flour that I get from Costco. A lot of this is from Costco. So we have one and a half cups. And I will post this recipe on my blog. Um, so, check it out. So one and a half cups of flour. We need a third cup of butter melted. So I'm going to use that. So I have just a stick of butter already cut, because that's actually what I had left in my refrigerator. trash can closer so I don't keep disappearing. Okay, so a third cup of salted butter and a quarter cup of sugar. I use this monk fruit sweetener. This works really good for me. Um, it helps with my glucose levels. So I know sometimes it gets all crazy. So I melted it. Still got a little bit of bit of melt. It's fine. So then, what did I say? Quarter cup. Quarter cup. So we'll make it the crust. It's super easy to make this crust. I use this kind of crust um, for a lot of different things. Well, minus the almond butter. I don't ever put almond butter in it, but this one calls for it. I'm not sure why. So, this almond butter, gotta stir it up. Okay, so then it needs three tablespoons. Tablespoons. I'm just gonna scoop it out. One thing you'll notice I don't always measure things and I just kind of gauge with my eyeball a little bit. Keeps life fun and interesting. Never really know how exactly it's gonna turn out. It's usually pretty good. So then I'm going to add in my butter. You just add all of that into one big bowl. I keep putting stuff in the sink. That's where I disappear off to. So you're going to want to make sure you stir it really well. Oh, also FYI, I've never made this recipe before. I don't remember if I said that. But this is brand new for me. So it's a fun adventure for all of us. Okay, so it's starting to kind of clump together. Um, and that's what you want to look for. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, it doesn't form one giant big ball in itself. But you 
you can tell the consistency is sticky. So then, your spring form pan. I didn't grease the pan or anything like that. Shouldn't need that because of the, um, the butter. Yes, this is a Starbucks apron because both Jason and I worked there at one point in time. Not at the same time. I took his job and sold his apron. So then I am just, I'm just pressing it down into the bottom of the pan like so. So it's sticking together really well. So it's pretty simple. Just make sure it's as even as possible. If there's some spots that are a little thin, you just kind of push it till it's all even. And you want to make sure that the almond butter is really well incorporated. So stir it up really good. You don't want to have like chunks of almond butter. That's just weird. Okay, so now it's all pressed in. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I also, when I was washing my hands, washed out that bowl that I used just in case I need it again. And I rinsed out my measuring cups as well. Um, okay. So, this is what the pan looks like with the crust in it. I didn't go up on the sides, it's just all pressed down on the bottom. I'll set that over there. Because I just didn't say it needs to go into the refrigerator or anything, so. Or even bake. Okay, so then, now we're going to make the filling. So, the filling takes two cups of ricotta cheese, which I got, wait, so one, okay, I'll just give you the list of the ingredients. So you have ricotta cheese, we have cream cheese, the sweetener we had before, um, cinnamon, vanilla, gelatin, no flavor, just plain old gelatin. Um, heavy whipping cream, and I need uh, unsweetened chocolate chips. Usually, I use, well, that's a semi sweet, but some sugar added. Usually, I use um, these Hershey's sugar free ones, but um, Walmart was out of those. Um, again, coronavirus. Um, so I just got this other brand. I haven't used it before. It's Bake, Bake and Believe. It's a pretty bag. Okay, so first things first, it says bloom the gelatin. I didn't know it was a flower. Okay, but it's gonna bloom. It's springtime. Um, so we sprinkle the gelatin on top of two tablespoons of cold water. Okay. So, two tablespoons. What did I do with my tablespoon? I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, so two tablespoons of cold water. We'll just use this one.
So I'm putting it in, oops. That's built. Okay, so that's cold water. I really like to drink some of that right now. And then the gelatin. Two. Well, I'm going to have lots of gelatin left over because this only calls for two teaspoons. So we'll have to make something else with gelatin. So we have two tablespoons of cold water. Oh gosh, there's several packets in here. <laughs> okay. So, and then two teaspoons. My little teaspoons. So, sprinkled gelatin. So just two teaspoons of gelatin. Sprinkle it on top of the cold water. Like so. I hope this turns out okay. It's my 10 year anniversary tomorrow. And we are, you know, stuck at home because of the coronavirus. So I wanted to make a nice supper and a nice dessert. Um, let's sit for five minutes. So he's sitting for five minutes. Okay. So, meanwhile, in the same bowl you made the crust in, mix the ricotta, cream cheese, sweetener, cinnamon, and vanilla. So, I had two or four four ounces of cream cheese left over from another recipe I had made earlier. Okay, so something that trash can smells. Um, okay, mix the ricotta. How much ricotta? Two cups. So for dinner tomorrow, I want to make Um, steak. I'm not sure exactly how I want to make it. I was talking to a friend of mine and she suggested um, cooking it in um, oops, cast iron skillet and then making like a red wine type of sauce. So I'm going to try that. So two cups of ricotta cheese. My mom used to make the best stuffed shells when I was a kid. And so every time I have ricotta cheese, I think of my mama. Hi, mama. Um, don't know if you'll watch this, but I'm thinking of you. Okay. So two cups of cream cheese, four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of our sweetener. Ordinarily, I'll put a little less sugar than what our recipe calls for. Just it's healthier. I'm weird, I know, but when it's a first time, okay. So this. This isn't quite, I can't really tell. It's not quite a half a cup, and I'm gonna call that good. Just because it's healthier. Okay, so sweetener, cinnamon. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. So I'm just gonna. Like legit, I rarely measure. And 
half a teaspoon of vanilla. Then, those are all the ingredients that I'm done with. So then, I'm going to mix it with your electric mixer until smooth. So this mixer I've had for... So, it says to uh, mix it until smooth. I'm going to pause it, the video, so y'all don't have to hear it, because that's just annoying. Okay, I legit just mixed it for like 35, 40 seconds. But, the my timer had gone off for our gelatin that's blooming. Let's check. I'm disappointed. There's no flowers. There's not even color. So, we add two tablespoons of hot water. All I have to do is run my tap for a few minutes because here in Arizona, it's like over 100 degrees right now. So let me heat up the water for just a sec. Okay, so I put the, the two tablespoons of hot water in this eighth of a cup. So, you can't tell, but the gelatin is pretty, like it's not liquidated anymore. So I guess that's what it means to bloom. It grows and absorbs the water. So now we just add the hot water to it and stir until dissolved. Oh yeah, okay. So you know like inside um, the ice packs where it's got like the kind of like the gel in the ice pack, like the blue ice packs. That's what happened to me. That's what it looks like. Anyway. I guess it's dissolved. Okay, so now we have to blend in the bloomed gelatin into our. Um, oh. That's our cream cheese, ricotta cheese, sugar. That blend. Okay. I hope you guys aren't looking for a professional chef or baker. That is not me. <laughs> that is not me at all. Okay. So then we blend it in. I don't know how to mute this. You don't know how to mute this. And then in another bowl with the electric mixer, hmm, I think I'm going to clean these because I have to beat the cream. Okay, so now this has the gelatin in it. I'm going to set that aside. Take my freshly washed beaters. And then we need eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. This is six, so we'll pour in half, or 16, so we'll pour in half. So, 
dipped in an electric mixer, beat the cream until stiff peaks form. So you just keep mixing, 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 and when you pull, stop the blender, when you pull it up, if they kind of stay where they are, when you, I wish I could mute this. When you're beating it and it starts forming, you know, little things, once they can stay up for a little bit, that stiff peak. So I'm going to pause it, but I'll keep an eye on the time so that we have an, y'all have an about. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. And we'll see if it takes that long. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and for some reason my camera stopped recording or went away. So part two, making the cannoli cheesecake so with this I'm gonna turn it on it's gonna get loud I want to show you what it looks like so, it's not quite ready yet it's definitely thicker but it's not ready yet because it's still too watery it's not forming those sticky so, we probably have to beat it for probably about 10 minutes to get those stiff peaks. Okay, so technically it's been 8 minutes, so 8 to 10 minutes um, is good. So, I will show you. So, see how the ridges are still in there? It's very, I mean... So, now it says fold a third of the whipped cream into the cheesecake batter, which is here. So, I'll look at it and just cut a line in there. It looks to be about a third. Scoop it out. And folding, it's not mixing. It's taking it and folding it in. See? Fold. We don't mix it. We just fold it in. Okay. So we fold in a third of it. Like that. And if my cousins or anyone who cooks or bakes is watching this, please excuse my technique. This is just from 24 years plus cooking in the kitchen. So I am not a professional. I've not had any training. Okay, um, so gently fold in the rest. So then we just take this. Lop it gently in here. Okay. And then fold it like we learned. Just gently fold in. Like so. So it looked like I stirred it, but I didn't just stir it there. I was scraping the bowl. Not stirring the cannoli. Okay. So then... Put all your dirty dishes in the bowl. Clear out some space. Okay. So then we have to fold in the chocolate chips. And the chocolate chips is one cup. I'm just going to use this because it's already opened. Like this. 
Oh, look at that. That's like almost exactly what I thought. Oh, this isn't resealable. That's silly. Okay. Gotta taste it. Mmm. Tastes like the other ones. Okay. So with this one, fold it in. Fold. And you know, once you get done with this, the baker gets to lick the bowl. Um, so this recipe, I did not create. I found it on Pinterest. Pinterest is my best friend <laughs> when it comes to recipes. Um, so many great ideas by so many creative people. I mean, it just blows my mind. Um, and so the girl that I got it from, it's joyfilledeats.com is the website or the person who posted it on Pinterest. Okay, so then we pour on top of this prepared crust. Y'all see that? Well, that was not supposed to happen. I can lick this off the pan because it's just gonna be me and Jay eating it. Because, you know. So then you just spread it out. Can y'all see? Spread it out like you would frosting on a cake. So, it's kind of a, almost like a mousse texture. And it's supposed to stay that way. It'll just get a little bit firmer. Mm, it's not bad. I'm excited for the completed project. Okay, so then all you have to do is refrigerate it four to six hours at least. So since our anniversary is tomorrow, we're plenty good because it'll be sitting in there overnight. Um, so yeah, you just put it in the fridge for four to six hours. It will stay a soft mousse, but it'll be a little bit more firm. Um, that's a cannoli cheesecake, y'all. Uh, hopefully it'll taste good. I'm sure it will if the batter tastes good, so... Um, yeah, hope you guys, uh, enjoyed my journey, um, and tune in next time to see what else we're going to create. Bye.